Hey there, fellow travelers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an enchanting journey to one of Italy's best kept secrets, a region that's often overshadowed by its more famous neighbors. Nestled along the Adriatic coast, this hidden gem is a place of stunning landscapes, charming towns, and a rich cultural heritage. That's right, we're taking you on an unforgettable adventure through the mesmerizing region of Marche, Italy. Curious to discover with us the 10 magical places to see in La Marche. This Italian region has experienced a new youth this past summer, thanks in part to the celebrations of the 500th anniversary of Raphael Sanzio's death in Urbino, a city recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An extremely varied territory ranging from the mountainous landscapes of the Apennines, to art cities such as Gradara, Ancona or Ascoli Piceno, to the jewels of the Adriatic coast with the Riviera del Conero, its villages and beaches. Along with the great classics mentioned above, Take note of still little-known places and be inspired by our tips for planning your weekend in La Marche among nature, culture and cuisine. Now that it is safe to travel in Italy we suggest you take advantage of the beauty of the Italian regions and set off safely to discover our belpies. What are you waiting for? How to get to Marche? How to get to La Marche? The main airport in La Marche is Ancona Falconara Airport, named after Raffaello Sanzio, which is located 18 kilometers from the center of Ancona. However, Bologna's Marconi Airport is a two-hour drive away, and those in Rome and Florence are three hours away. So consider also landing at airports in neighboring regions, unless you want to reach this Italian region by your own means, or by renting a car. The 10 Magical Places to See in the Marche Region 1. Ancona and the Conero Riviera We begin our guide to the 10 magical places to see in the Marche region with the city of Ancona, which stands on a promontory protected by Mount Conero that plunges into the blue. Your visit could start from its Salon Buono, Piazza del Plebiscito, overlooked by the city's most important buildings, and then continue along the sea to the striking Mole Van Vitelliana, a pentagonal defensive structure that also functioned as a lazaretto. Behind Ancona is then the famous Riviera del Conero, an area protected by the regional natural park of the same name, where the most beautiful inlets and beaches of the Marche region are located, above all the white beach of Juicerelle, those of Numana and Sorolo. End the day on a high note with a fine seafood dinner to the sound of wild moscioli, the area's mussels that have also become a slow food presidium, and Rosso Conero in the striking natural setting of Portanovo Bay. 2. Furlough Gorge and Marmite dei Giganti. We now move to the north of the region to immerse ourselves in the most unspoiled nature, that of the wonderful landscapes created by the flowing water of two great rivers. The Furlough Gorge is in fact a beautiful canyon created by the erosion of the Candeliano and is now traversed by the ancient Via Flaminia. Climb Mount Pietrolata to trek and admire the gorge from the top of the panoramic terrace called Testa del Duce. Mussolini was in fact a great frequenter of the area and in 1936 the local stonemasons, together with the forestry department, carved his iconic profile on the summit, now no longer visible. A few kilometers from the gorges are then the Marmite dei Giganti, impressive morphostructures produced by the erosion of the Metaurus River. Also worth seeing nearby is the monastery of Font Avalana, where Dante Alighieri was also apparently housed. Dot not before trying the white truffle of Aquilania. 3. Urbino. A few kilometers north of the furlough is Urbino, perhaps the most magical place to see in the Marche region. Christened the ideal city by Machiavelli for the famous painting of The Ideal City by Leon Battista Alberti and Luciano Laurana kept in the Ducal Palace, Urbino is a masterpiece of the Italian Renaissance, and its historic center has been listed, not surprisingly, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But Urbino is also the birthplace of Raphael, and 2020 has been named the Year of Raphael to celebrate the 500th anniversary of his death with exhibitions and displays throughout Italy. His admirers cannot fail to start their tour of the city from his birthplace, before heading to the Ducal Palace to admire his works, displayed alongside those of other famous artists of the caliber of Piero della Francesca and Titian. Also worth seeing are the Oratorio di San Giovanni, the Rampa Elicoidale and the Ateneo Carlo Bo. 4. Frassassi Caves and Valadir Temple. Discovered in 1971 underground in Genga, the Frassassi Caves are one of the most fascinating underground complexes in the world. Walking among stalactites and stalagmites along the tour route, which covers only a tiny part of the cave's 30 kilometers of extension, you will reach the Abisso Ancona. We are talking about a gigantic cavity, 180 meters long and 200 meters high, which could even contain inside it the Cathedral of Milan. 
Next you will see the crystallized pond, room 200, the Grand Canyon and several other rooms that will literally leave you speechless. Starting, on foot, from the parking lot of the caves you can also visit another magical and iconic place in the Marche, the Valadir Temple. Set in a hollow in the mountain, the temple is an octagonal shrine in the neoclassical style built by Pope Leo XII to the design of the famous architect Giuseppe Valadir. 5. Red Blades and Lake Fiastra. We now move further south to explore the wonders of the Sibillini Mountains National Park starting with one of its most absurd sites, Lame Ross. This is a fabulous fiery red canyon that opens without warning in the middle of an oak forest. To reach these marvelous rock formations you will have to walk a 7 km trail, but with only 200 meters of elevation gain, so it is suitable for everyone, that starts from the dam on Lake Fiastra, also beautiful. Alternatively, you can start from Belvedere della Ruffella via the hamlet of Figni. Then a few kilometers from the lake is Sarnano, recently included among the most beautiful villages in Italy and an orange flag of the Italian Touring Club. This beautiful and unknown town is located right in the heart of the Sibillini Mountains, surrounded by the northernmost peaks of the chain. 6. Lake Pilot. Among the magical places to see in the Marche region are other natural spectacles that are also found in the Sibillini Mountains, nestled between the highest mountains in the region and on the border with Umbria and Lazio. This area is the perfect destination for those who love outdoor sports, remote places and great trekking. There are dozens of trails, they are well marked and allow you to see some truly stunning views. Among the most traveled and beautiful trails is definitely the one that reaches Lake Palato on Mount Carrier. It starts from Fos and after a couple of hours of ascent you arrive at Refugio Tito Zilioli, 2250 meters. From this point the view of this deep blue glacial lake is truly magnificent. The lake can also be reached from the Umbrian side of Mount Carrier, starting from Castelluccio di Norcia. Consider visiting it during the famous flowering to kill two birds with one stone, as they say. 7. Ascoli Piceno from the wonders of nature to the White City of Ascoli Piceno. Its historic center is in fact built almost entirely of Traviton, a white limestone rock typical of the area, and revolves around the magnificent Piazza del Popolo. Called the White Living Room of Italy, this Renaissance-style square is literally framed by a lodger with 59 arches and Renaissance palaces with porticos and battlements. The square took on its current architectural configuration in the early 16th century, and it is overlooked by the Palazzo dei Capitani del Popolo, inside is the Hall of Coats of Arms, a real gem, the Church of San Francesco, several Renaissance palaces and lodges. Ascoli Piceno is also famous for its gastronomy, led by its fried olives stuffed with meat, called Ascolane precisely. Nearby, don't miss the village of Offida, listed in Italy's most beautiful villages, and the Borgo Storico Sagetti Panico, Europe's first bioenergy historical park that is part of the Great Italian Gardens. 8. Gradara. We now move to the northernmost part of the region, almost on the border with Romagna, to tell you about Gradara, one of the best preserved medieval villages in Italy. The Rocca di Gradara, in addition to its beauty, is also famous for having hosted such illustrious figures as Lucrezia Borgia and Francesca di Rimini, the protagonist, together with Paolo, of the famous love story narrated by Dante in the Divine Comedy. Ama, char nullo amato amar padona, mi presso del costui piazza cosi forte, che, come vedi, anca non rabandona, ring a bell. Don't miss the patrol walkways along the walls from which you will have a 360 degree view of the surrounding hills to the sea. Speaking of the sea, the closest stretch of coastline to Gradara is the one occupied by the beautiful Monte San Bartolo Natural Park, which stretches from Pesaro to Gabice Mare and has many bicycle and pedestrian paths. A beach not to be missed in the area, that of Firenzuola di Focara, famous for its Cogoli, special stones shaped by the sea. 9. Ricanati and Castelfidardo. After the places praised by Dante, let's move on to another magical place in the Marche celebrated by Giacomo Lepidi. Indeed, in the town of Ricanati, in the province of Maserata, one of Italy's greatest poets was born, and he praised its beauty in many of his most famous poems. Ricanati is a balcony town, because of the wide panorama that can be seen there, and one cannot but begin his visit from the Col dell'Infinito, not far from Palazzo Lepidi, the house where the poet was born, now a museum. It would be the view from here that inspired the poem of the same name composed by the poet at the young age of 21. Then next door is the World Center for Poetry and Culture. Other Lepidi sites not to be missed are the Piazzetta del Sabato del Villaggio, the Tower of the Lonely Sparrow and Palazzo Antici Mattei, 
home of the poet's mother. Nearby, Castelfidardo, considered the capital of the accordion, is also worth a visit. 10. Natural Arch of Fondaca. We close our article on the 10 magical places in La Marche with this natural amphitheater located near Cagli, in the northeast of the region. We are on the slopes of Mount Narone in the heart of the Marche Apennines in what was probably, a few geological eras ago, a large cave whose ceiling collapsed. What remains to this day is a spectacular rock arch with high, steep walls that can be reached by a short, easy trek from Paella, near the spring. The trail is Kai number 21 and it takes about 20 minutes to reach the arch, passing by the Grotta del Notol. There is then a narrow passage at the bottom of the former cave that leads to a gorge from which you can enjoy a very beautiful and wild view, complete with a small waterfall. What an incredible journey it has been exploring the hidden gems of Marche, Italy with you all. From the rolling hills to the Adriatic coastline, we've experienced the magic and charm of this lesser-known Italian region. Until our next Italian adventure, wherever that may be, thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through Marche, Italy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more travel explorations. Your support means the world to us.